So now let's talk about autoimmune disease in our gut. So inflammatory bowel disease is an autoimmune disease, and the most common type of inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis occurs in the colon, which is part of your large intestine. The colon's the longest part of the large intestine, and it's important for absorbing water, uh, certain nutrients and electrolytes, and it's also where most of the bacteria in our bodies live. So during ulcerative colitis, there's inflammation in the colon, and the symptoms of this would be things like abdominal pain, diarrhea, and weight loss. On the lower right here, we're seeing a colonoscopy where a doctor can take a tube with a camera and put it into the colon. And on the left, we're seeing healthy colon. And on the right, we're seeing inflamed that looks red and kind of unhappy. And so ulcerative colitis is really characterized by chronic inflammation in combination uh, with cycles of flare-ups where there's more acute inflammation and very noticeably bad symptoms. So uh, how is ulcerative colitis currently treated? Well, uh, certain treatments are steroids, which generally suppress your immune system. There are also biologics, which are molecules that can target specific parts of the inflammatory pathways. And finally, in really bad situations, there's the colectomy, where either part or the entire colon is removed from the ulcerative colitis patient. So before we had these treatments, uh, the mortality rate for ulcerative colitis was very high. It was up to 60%. So this is a really terrible chronic disease. So how does ulcerative colitis arise? So here we're looking at a cartoon of your colon, and the colon at its uh, innermost part has a single cell epithelial cell barrier. And this separates microbes that live in our colon from us. And when this barrier breaks down due to damage, the microbes can start to get into the epithelial layer and penetrate in there. And when these microbes get into the epithelial layer, uh, this triggers an immune response. So some of the first immune cells to arrive are neutrophils, which are trying to essentially remove the bacteria and kill them. And when the neutrophils arrive, they bring along a lot of other friends, other immune cells, and this triggers a lot of inflammation. And as you're trying to get rid of these microbes or these bacteria that have gone into the colon, uh, this is also leading to damage of the colon tissue itself. And that's where you start to get these symptoms like diarrhea and pain and so forth. And this uh, inflammation is chronic, so it can continue for years and even decades, and it requires careful treatment by a gastroenterologist. <music>